exciting video today. We got the lifting arch, okay, for logs or any kind of heavy thing, really, I guess. A uh, loading arch, a lifting arch, uh, very basic principles, seen it on some other videos, seen a lot of online, you know, uh, conversations about it. You run a winch, you run it to a fixed high point, uh, you run some block and tackle, a pulley, and, uh, and boom, whammo bammo, you got a much higher, much stronger uh, system that you can haul off. Mine's a little different and a few details, but I'm really excited. Um, it's been a busy weekend, had a family yard sale. And so if you're watching these videos because of some of the sawmilling I do, I can just say, if you have a yard sale, that is the best local marketing you can do, all right? So every other person that came into my yard, they liked the junk, but they loved the wood. They loved the mill, they wanted to talk about it. They took my number, um, you know, they. I sold two loads of wood today. Um, some dimensional stuff, some slab wood, some hobby wood, I would call it. Um, cutoffs, things that were going to the fire, firewood pile. So, you know, a little hidden gem there. You can clean out your house, you can make some cash, and you can sell some of your products right there in your front lawn. Um, but more about this lifting arch, okay? Um, just came back from the welders. You might be able to tell a great friend of mine is a talented welder. Uh, he's made this thing strong. Obviously, the last thing you want if you're moving logs a couple thousand pounds plus is any kind of a serious injury. Um, we're going to be trying it out here in just a few minutes. Uh, you can tell it's fresh from the well. It's still got the marks. So real quick, I'm going to hit it with the Rust-Oleum, and then we're going to take this thing on the road for a test drive. All right. Oh, again, I'm. this isn't my full-time deal, but I started off with a little F-150 in a landscape trailer, okay? Trying to lift logs over my shoulder, okay? So we've come a long way. I just want to encourage anybody who's out there, like, how do I get to this level? You know, it's taken two years, but slowly but surely, you know, sell, trade, and upgrade, baby. All right, and so what you're looking at here is an 04 F-350. It is a gas job, but that's all right with me. So it's a windy day up here in New England. Try not to judge the... Uh, spray paint job too harshly. We're just trying to prevent any uh, quick flash welding. Before I got into that, I did want to take a moment to talk about my rig. I have built a lifting arch before, and at some other point, I, I might um, include that in a video and talk about that. It was a little landscape tra um, trailer, single axle, okay? And I ran the little Harbor Freight, uh, you know, $50 special winch on it. And it was phenomenal. And so if you're out there and you're thinking, I'm a beginning Sawyer, I just got my first mill, whatever. Um, that trailer is still in use by my father, okay? Uh, getting uh, a lot of work out of it, logs, stone, anything heavy. I mean, he, he, he puts things on pallets and brings it up ramps onto his trailer because he doesn't want to buy a tractor, I guess. But I want to talk about this rig right here, okay? I was able to pick this rig up for a thousand bucks, okay? It was a double axle trailer. It needed two tires out of four. Uh, you could tell I threw some slab wood sides on it just to help with some moving jobs, okay? When I had it, I uh, I just did a quick, um, you know, lying around toolbox from an old Ford Ranger, you know, put some plate down, bolted it in, there you go, okay? That's where I run, you know, my battery, okay? My tongs, all that is in here. All right, so there's the battery set up. You can see I got a bunch of hitches, ropes, that kind of thing, right? Your straps, all the goodies are in here, okay? And just some more blocks and jacks and that kind of thing. By the way, uh, definitely got to clean that up. But what I'm most proud of on this unit here is this unit here, okay? Right here, we got the Badland winch. That's right, Harbor Freight Proud, but the ZX 12,000 pound. And I'm confident that with this new lifting arch that's going to handle most tasks that I ask of it. Now, a lot of you might be wondering, Joe, you know, you didn't hinge your points. Well, here's my feeling on that. These little two inch receivers are everywhere standard and cheap. You can get a really, really good, strong contact point. I would say we got maybe eight inches of weld, okay? Right there. All right, and then just run typical trailer pins. The arch slides in and out. So if I want this to be a trailer, it can be just a trailer, all right? If I wanna put the tractor on here, okay? If I want to um, you know, use it as a moving trailer with the sidewalls, whatever the case may be, all right? Um, the other thing I'll say is we definitely, again, 
you know, talented guy. We played at all the joints, all right? We're gonna run a D-ring, and off of that, like I said before, we're gonna run either a block and pulley or uh, some kind of system like that. You'll see when we go through the time lapse on the log pickup here that we're going for. There you have it, folks. That's all she wrote right there, okay? Down and dirty, yeah. Did I just Rust-Oleum rattle can that in my driveway? You betcha. Was it windy? Yes. Okay. Was it blown in my face? Yes. Was it a good paint job? No. Did I get some on my hands? You tell me. All right. But at the end of the day, all we're trying to do is prevent some rust. I'm excited to go use this thing, go try it out. And really, you know, how much effort do you want to put into this? Because the truth of the matter is if the log's over here, and we're pulling to that point we're probably going to be rubbing these frames anyway so we got it done let's go get some logs
my old coach used to say, not always pretty, but it was effective. We got the logs on the trailer. We got them home uh, real quick. Just want to let you go because uh, I'm sure some of you are curious. We're looking at 152 inches long, so over 12 feet. This one here is 24 at the butt and 32 at the top of the crotch. We got a little guy here uh, that has a very large crotch. That guy there, he's 21 inches measuring over nine feet. So all in all, we got a, quite a few ton of poplar wood today. Um, it was a good job for us. I think we're gonna go back and get a few more. Um, guy was real friendly, tree job. He just wanted the logs gone. So uh, kind of guy we like to do business with. Um, so enjoy the video. Uh, hit subscribe if you don't already.